girl, come. Come on, girl. Had a girl. Good dog. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Give. There we go. Little one. All right. Got a little one. Right down the middle of the trail. So I guess we'll take that. A little red. It is uh, Sunday. Sunday the 16th? I believe the 16th. And what do you know? It's spitting snowflakes and raining again. Um, we Seriously, I think I've hunted one nice saturday all year uh the rest of the fall it seems like saturdays and sundays have been foggy rainy wet uh yesterday we hunted in the snow um but i did pick up one bird um on the drive in this morning fluttered off the side of the trail and i got out and went back and was able to get it um and now we have uh, seen one and got one on the trail so we actually got two birds this morning um i guess i'll take it so we're gonna keep on walking we're not very far into this trail maybe a quarter mile in only so Keep on going. We definitely have a bird here. She's hot. She's going to flush it too far back in, though. Come on. I got a bunch of little mini clips here and no birds in between. So I'm just gonna condense things here. Um, I think I've flushed 10 or 11 birds so far. Uh, I got my first two birds of the morning and I have now missed five in a row. I had the dog get hot. I turned the Tacticam on. So I'm assuming maybe you just watched a video of me choking on what should have been a double. Um, a little tip for you, when you have multiple birds get up at once, pick one bird, stay on it and shoot. I did not do that. I pulled on the first bird and then another bird jumped like real close to me and flew up. So I swung on that bird and it actually landed in a tree and I swung through it and squeezed and missed it. And then another bird jumped up and flew straight across. And honestly, if I had a landing net, I probably could have just scooped that bird right out of the air. Um, so I didn't shoot initially because it was so close, I swung. And it got back in the trees, and I, I just couldn't get a solid shot on it, and I missed. And then we walked up a little further, and had a single flush that I did not get a shot at. Walked up a little further, and had another double flush. And I pulled, and I blew feathers off the bird, and then it went straight up in the air, and it just was like struggling, flapping, flapping, and turned, and nosedived. And I've had that happen before, and in my experience, that bird's laying there stone dead every single time. So I, I rushed up there with the dog and she kind of went in almost like she went on point. So I knew she was right on top of the bird and it, I was gonna, I was gonna film the retrieve and that bird flushed hard. And I quick threw the phone and took a couple quick shots at it, just kind of Hail Mary shots and I missed it. And then we spent probably 20 minutes. I walked way back in there. I looped through cause I'm sure that bird was hit. And I, I do not like wounding any animal, not even a grouse or a deer or a duck it, it just doesn't matter so we went and we probably looked for 20 minutes and flushed another grouse back there but never never did see that bird again so i mean i walked a good ways back uh, the direction it flew so it must have just flew straight out whether i uh, i don't know what happened but like i said i blew feathers off of it it flew up in the air and then crashed and we didn't get the bird um came back out and flushed another bird on that little logging landing that I like to walk, didn't get any shots. And then on this leg of the trail, we just flushed one and it came straight back past me, like right at me. And I just don't like to shoot grouse when they're flying at you because you just blow them up so bad um, to the point where sometimes they're not edible. And I, again, what's the point of shooting a grouse if you're gonna just turn them inside out? Uh, so I let it swing by me and then I couldn't hit it. It banked right back into the woods the second it went by me. and didn't get a clean shot at it and missed. So I've missed five. Um, if I, like I said, had a landing net, I'd probably have two more birds if I just netted them out of the air because they've flown that close to me. But 
Um, I don't know, a little bit frustrating when you don't hit what you're shooting at, but we are gonna just keep on at it. We're gonna finish this trail off. We're gonna go see if we can find some woodcock and I guess usually I can hit woodcock if I don't run out of bullets. I put a full box of six shot in my pocket yesterday and it is almost gone. So I guess we'll keep Hello. at her. Oh, dog. I thought I missed that bird. Come on, girl. Come on. Bring it here. Good dog. Good dog. I thought I missed it. She comes back with the bird. Good dog. Bird's still alive, though. Nice bird. All right. Not a bad bird. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I hope the camera turned on in time. I uh, I just turned the camera on, and I, I heard the buzz, but I just don't know if it got on 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 the bird before I shot. Bird girl, bring her. Good dog, come. Good dog, come. That a girl. Good girl. All right. That smaller bird there, but we got another one. All right, got our limit woodcock. Here, that a girl. Come here. Where, hey, bring me the bird. Come on, bring me the bird. Come, good dog. Come on, all the way here. You are not doing a good job retrieving. You're getting them. Not all the way to me. Here we are. That's a limit of woodcock. All right. Uh, and that is why I love this so much. I kind of honestly choked on the on the grouse and I came in here, I went three for three on woodcock. And I mean, if you don't hunt woodcock, honestly, you are really missing out. Uh, you do need a dog. There's just no way to get these birds up without a dog. Um, but God, they're so much fun. When the, when the migration's on, these birds are just in here thick. Um, I flushed four. One of them I didn't see. Uh, the other three flushes uh, I got. And one, I, I, it landed and I flushed it myself and I never took my safety off. I didn't like miss the safety. I was just so worried about trying to film the bird. And uh, it landed again and I went up there with Nala and I thought I missed it. You know, I swung, I shot, it disappeared and she came back with the bird. So that was pretty awesome. Got out here and then she got hot, spun. I turned the camera on and I felt the little buzz. Um, it buzzes when it turns on um, as I was swinging on the bird. So I hope I got that shot on film. And then this last one, this last one was a pretty quick one, but I, I had the camera on again. So hopefully we got some film of all three of the, uh, of the woodcock flushes. Um, yeah, three beautiful little birds. And then we got a couple grouse too. So I'm gonna finish this uh, walk out. I don't even have to go to my second spot that I usually hunt for woodcock, um, but we'll get back out, head back to the truck and uh, See what time it is. Maybe we got time to hit one more short trail. Since I got my limit of woodcock, I don't expect a grouse in this spot. I'm just gonna film her a little bit, see what happens. Um, the reason this spot is so good for woodcock, you see that little beaver pond down there and it is just surrounded by aspen slashing. Um, I don't know why, but once all the leaves drop, a lot of times the woodcock suck down into this tag alder brush and I, that's basically where all of them flushed yesterday. Or I shouldn't say tag all their brush, sorry, but uh, there's some tag all there's down there. Uh, hazel brush, and they like that stuff. Come on, girl. Stay close. But when you're woodcock hunting, right there, that's where you want your dog. Nice and close. Come on. And again, I'm off trail, so I let her know where I want to be. I don't just let her run and do her thing. Come on. Come on back. Good dog. Good dog. All right. Well, I didn't do any kind of a closing interview yesterday because uh, I was soaking wet and freezing. Um, we got out early. I was going to go hit another trail today, and I got 200 yards down the trail and met another hunter walking out. 
Um, I guess somebody had dropped him off on a side-by-side -side and was going to pick him up, so I didn't know he was back there. So that kind of canceled that idea. Um, and then there was another hunter on a separate spot. Um, I did run into a couple birds on the road coming out, but wasn't able to get any shots at them. One flew, landed, I went out, flushed it a second time, couldn't shoot. The other one just ran, and I was never able to get a second flush out of it. So um, we're home, we're gonna get these birds cleaned, and youth deer hunt is next weekend. So I'm gonna get some stands um, moved and kind of taken care of so that we're ready for the youth deer hunt. So here's our birds. We ended the day with two grouse and three woodcock. Didn't shoot so hot on the grouse hunting side of things, but uh, when it comes to woodcock, I actually went three for three. I only fired three shots and got three birds. So hopefully the tact cam footage turned out decent on those. Um, grouse hunting was tougher. Um, I don't know, uh, for you guys who chase woodcock, I guess I have trouble changing gears between grouse and woodcock because the woodcock don't fly that fast. Um, so you can get on them, you can take your time, and that's actually the best way to do it with them because they kind of dart and move a little bit. So get on them, take your time, squeeze off, and you usually can knock a woodcock down pretty easy. Grouse, it's got to be so fast that, um, I just maybe hesitate a little bit. I don't know. Either way, um, two grouse, three woodcocks, not a bad day. Uh, it's the exact same as what I ended on yesterday. So, um, yeah, we are going to hopefully get another uh, grouse hunt on film here next weekend. But to be quite honest with you, my days are, are really getting numbered for the grouse hunting. Um, we've got the youth deer hunt coming up. I am going to have my son out next weekend for that. Uh, I'm a pretty passionate deer hunter, so I need to get out with my bow a little more. I have filled... Um, a CWD uh, doe tag already this year and I do have that um, on my channel if you want to watch that one some pretty good blood trailing involved in that one um, and then we have opening of deer season a couple weeks away I am going to Montana this fall for a week so honestly I don't have a lot of time left with my dog um, we also do a, a trip to the pheasant farm which is you know honestly i'd rather hunt grouse but uh, we go with my dad my uncle my brother-in-law and my son's coming for the first time this year so that'll be fun for him and the dogs don't know the difference they love it anyway so as you can see probably it is still snowing out we're gonna get some deer stands moved we're gonna get a little work done around the house and uh yeah hopefully i can catch you for one more grouse hunt or maybe two more um in the coming weeks but like i said uh time in the grouse wood is it's coming to an end october might be 31 days, but uh, it sure doesn't seem like it.